Well, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Cutting Up Crafts by Shelly. I'm Shelly. I'm here. I'm back. So, how's everybody doing tonight? If you don't see that little red live at the top, we're no longer live, but you can go to my replay, hashtag replay, on my page. And I want to thank everybody for coming on and all your love and support. Hi. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Carmela. Hi, everybody. How's it going? How's it going today, everybody? How is it going? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Jean. Welcome, everybody. We'll see who comes on today. So, what I what we're going to do today is a little charming romantic tray, and we're going to do a little um, little floral arrangement. Um, we're going to do a bunch of different things to um, make this little tray. It'd be something like on your vanity table if you have a vanity, or you can put it on your a bedroom um, dresser or an end table. Hi, Christine. Hi, Risha. How's everybody? Thanks for coming on, you guys. Hi, Beth. So, um, yeah. So I was down here a little bit earlier trying to put some things together. And of course, you know, you start one thing and then it completely goes to the left. So, um, yeah, tonight that happened the same way. So here I am. Thanks again for coming on, you guys. I appreciate you so much. We're going to get started. Hi, Diane. Hi, Lorianne. And um, I hope you all um, had a nice day today. Um, I know there's probably still some football on, but, you know, we can hang out. Husbands can watch the football and the ladies can watch the football too, but something to do. Okay. Hope everybody's staying nice and warm. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Lisa. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, what we're doing today is we're going to upcycle this $5. Um, this was a frame from the Dollar Tree on the $5 section. And... Um, we're going to redo it, all right? But what I did was I started, I prepped this a little bit. So we're going to make it like a little tiny riser. So what I did was put four little um, jumbo beads on the bottom. So it's going to help it to set up. So this is going to be part of our little tray. All right, we're going to go ahead and start our tray first. Um, we're going to go ahead and first, and we're going to use some um, sandstone on this, just like the base looks right here, okay? Um, and then the outer edge, we're gonna we're gonna keep it looking a little bit distressed. Uh, we're gonna use some celery. And we're gonna use some of our uh, Waverly wax as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hi Pam. Hi Monica. Thank you. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty. I love. The, I already love the design on this frame. So it's gonna be a pretty tray. Just think of it. Um, any of us that are a certain age, if you can remember going to grandma's. And she had her dressing table my grandma did and she kept little things on it and I would sit there as a little girl and from the mirror and just look at things like I was not to really touch a lot but I could pretend and it was just really cute so that's what we're gonna do today all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started and I probably what I should have done initially was just leave this apart and do the um, do this apart from you know apart from the frame but I didn't so here we are. Whoa, I don't want to do that. And we're going to use this really pretty napkin, guys, right here. I'm going to use this entire length of the napkin, and it's going to go across the base of our tray just to make it look kind of old, vintage looking. It's going to be real pretty. I'm excited to see how it turns out. So, all right. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Angie. Welcome on everybody. If you could just throw out the lemons, I'd appreciate it. So the color we're going to use for this base is going to look cl close to what it is right now. And it is the color sandstone. It actually matches it almost perfect. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go ahead. See how it, that's like the color sandstone already. Huh. So we're just going to go around. Remember what I always say? First coat thin, second coat fill it in. So the idea is to get this, um, I didn't really like that base, you know, that flower with that big old ugly snake on there. Ugh. So we're gonna get rid of that. So I hope everybody's had a great day today. My husband and I, we went out for lunch. 
and I had to go to the store and get, pick up a few things and here I am. Here I am. Hi Karen. Hi Lori. Hi Lisa again. How are you? Thanks guys for coming on. We're doing a little um, vanity little vanity decor um, grouping. It's going to be really pretty. I already put a bottom on this. Um, I'll show you again. I used some jumbo beads that are cut off at the bottom, kind of squared off. And we're going to go ahead and we use those um, for the bottom. I'll show you. So that's going to hold that into a nice, nice position there. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this dry it up first. Hi, Betty. Oh my, oh, Daria, that's terrible. Bronchitis is terrible. You know what, my husband and I, we went somewhere last night and in the area, um, I was trying to get a little runny nose, but you were allowed to smoke in this area. Boy, it really jacked me up today. Nothing against smokers to each his own, but um, hi, Judy from Tennessee. Welcome. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Linda. But um, it really jacked up my sinuses today. So I took a um, like an allergy pill last night when we come home. But yeah, I'm a little snuffly. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to pray that goes and gets out of here because this doesn't belong. So hi, Peggy. Hi, Joyce Crazy for Crafts. Hi, Linda. Thank you guys so much for coming on. So we're making a pretty little vanity tray. Um, we will kind of remind you of when going to grandma's and checking on her tray. We're gonna put a little arrangement on it and it's gonna be really pretty. And again, I'm gonna have to go over this more than once because our little thing was a little bit darker, so. Hopefully it covers it well, it should. Hi, Kathy, aw, oh, thank you, honey, for that. that's a cute little thing there. Hi, Tonji, hi, Peggy, hi, Jamie. Okay, first coat thin. First coat thin, so it dries quick and then we're gonna fill it in. So has anybody tried anything we've done here on cutting up? Hi, Anchor Art Creations, welcome. Okay. So this does definitely, definitely need two coats to get rid of that serpent on there. <laughs> oh my. Hi, your craft cottage. Welcome. Again, this sandstone is a really pretty color. It is a Waverly chalk paint. Um, I've, I've used it a couple times in the last few days, but I really, I really love it. Super soft, super natural. Um, I think it'll look really pretty in here because it'll look a little more, uh, a little more vintage, I feel. Okay. Just kind of going around the edge here. Okay, I think this is going to cover. Let's put just a little tiny bit more right here. Okay. Let's see. Look how pretty this color is. Very natural looking, soft, not too not too light. It's not as light as your plaster, but I think it, it's going to be a really pretty base color here. 
So we're gonna go ahead and get this dried up and then we'll do our decoupaging of our pretty napkin um, on it. It's lighter, it's a little bit lighter. So I, what I'll do is I'll cut a little bit around the edges so it'll lay in, but we're gonna put this entire section of this pretty napkin. I thought it would be a beautiful edge on the um, on the little tray, so. Wendy, girl, I will pray for you, girl. I know, head and nose, for real. All right, I'm gonna say a prayer for the God. I come to you in Jesus' name. I pray for Wendy right now that you put your hand on her, Lord. We don't need no head colds. We don't need no sinus infections. So just, just knock it out of her, Lord. And um, I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, we knocked it out of there. We are knocking it out of there. Nobody needs that. Nobody's got time for that, huh? <laughs> to kick it out of there. Yes. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better, Wendy. Do what you're supposed to do. Take some, get some allergy medicine. You know, I, whenever I got the sinus thing, what, for me going to like urgent care, they said do a little saline spray to keep your sinuses moist. Take an allergy pill and something else. Now me, I could take chloracetin, you know, um, because of my blood pressure and everything, but it seemed like it really worked. If it's viral, you know, if it's not, if it's not, then, you know, you'll have to get antibiotic, but we're hoping. So, um, I was thinking, when I do my I was going to do something different. I don't know if you guys would be up for it. Um, I was going to show all the items that I had. Not today, but I want to get it all together and set it out and show you guys everything that I've had from um, so some things left over from fall and Christmas and Valentine. And I was going to do a little um, auction that way. Just post the item and the price like that and show you it and see who comments first. Or what I was gonna do, I don't know how you guys would feel. I was gonna do a little show you everything that I have, and then let you know that so the items are gonna be in like different boxes, and I'll maybe have like um, three little mystery boxes, and you really won't know what you're gonna get, but we, you could bid on mystery boxes. So let me know what you think about that. Hi, Kay. I just thought it'd be something fun and different because I have things that um, that I've had, you know, for the seasons. I haven't done one of those in a while. So just to get your, you know, just get your feedback of how you want it done. It would be really, I think it'd be a cute idea. You'd be like, I don't know what I'm going to get from Shelly, but I hope I think it's cute. I hope it's the one that I wanted. So let me know what y'all think. But anyway, in the meantime, we're going to finish drying. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Marissa. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, friends. Okay, we'll dry this. All right, as this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the second part we're going to do around the frame. Um, you think that's a good idea, Daria? Darla? I'm sorry. Um, we're going to do the, this. Is, sounds crazy, but stick with me on this. I'm gonna go on the outside of this with some celery, okay? We're gonna we're gonna do it celery all the way around, like solid. Do you like that idea, guys? Okay, I hope so. Okay, we're gonna go around this with celery, the whole thing. And then I'm gonna take my little gator and I'm gonna take some off and then I'm gonna add a little bit of our Waverly wax and it's gonna give it a nice patina. Um, I think it's gonna look really sharp, so. Let's see. I see it in my head, but if it if it doesn't turn out that way, it's not going to turn out that way. Yeah, well, you like the idea of a mystery box? Okay, okay. What I'll do is I'll, I'll make sure that I have a date that um, will be cohesive for everybody. Probably would be on a, um, I don't know, maybe like a Saturday night, you know, a Saturday evening since um, I work during the day. We could do something like that. So yeah, let me know what you think. Hi, Darlene, how are you? Welcome. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna use the celery. 
Ooh, that's such a pretty color. We're gonna cover the entire, the entire frame with celery. This is a beautiful color. And what I like is, I like the intricacy of this uh, frame. This takes a second, give yourself a mulligan, you know what I'm saying, because you've got lots of nooks and crannies here. I'll probably end up uh, getting a smaller brush to get in the rig other nooks and crannies. So we'll go around, go around the outside first and then I'll work my way inward. And I apologize if, if, I, if I can't look up a lot. I'm just trying to um, not make this take super long. I don't know about you, but I always like to watch people paint. <laughs> it's kind of relaxing actually. So we're gonna go around this edge and then we'll go in and get the other spots too. Hi Renee, hi Deborah. Welcome on all. So again, this is a gonna be a re refurbished frame from the Dollar Tree during the fall, during their Halloween time. And we're gonna make it a little uh, vanity tray. It's gonna look like a little vintage vanity tray, which I think is gonna look really pretty. And we're using the color celery on the outside. So. Oh, we have a newbie on. Welcome. Welcome to all my newbies. I appreciate you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. And I do have a sealer that I use once I do my projects. Um, I don't seal again with Mod Podge. I just have a spray sealer that I put on and it seals all the projects that I do. Um, it's just a sealant. I got it. I think I either got it at, uh, I think I got it either at Michael's or over at uh, Walmart. It's just a protective gloss sealant. Again, we're trying to cover as much as we can. We might not worry a big, big deal about it. I want to get the first coat on really good. Hi, Sheila. Hi, River Home Crafts. Honey, I forget your first name, and I, I, I know I should know what it is. If you could remind me. <laughs> I can see your little face, but I can't remember your actual first name. There, it's Shelby. There you go. It's Shelby. Like to watch people paint too. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Kathleen. Welcome. I know you guys like to paint, watch people paint, and they're like, oh, she missed the spot. Somebody tell her. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I got the edges. Okay. Let me go to the interior part. I'm 
going to get a smaller brush because some of these areas are kind of tight. So. If we don't get them all that's okay too that's okay too because we're going to be distressing and it's okay if we're going to see variations of color all through this so we're not going to get all bent out of shape over it but as i said you can do as much as you can So if you hear a little bit of clinking, that's my dryer. Obviously, something is clinking, maybe from a sweatshirt or a little grommet on something is making some noise. So, okay, we are moved right along. It's really weird, you guys. Last night I had a dream about my dad. I don't dream about him that much, but he was literally talking to me last night in my dream. We were somewhere, and he looked down, and he saw a pair of shoes, like boots, and they looked like um, Timberlands, you know, that style of shoe. And he looked down, and he said, oh, what, are, what are my shoes? What are my shoes doing there? Like someone took his shoes. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, I don't know. But he was seriously, I've not heard his voice in dreams ever. And it was the first time I ever heard him. He really was talking to me. And they look like Timberlands. And I don't even know if my dad had a pair. I know he had some work boots that he got from like Walmart or up at, you know, like Boscov or something like that. But never, uh, never like that it was weird I woke up and went oh my god dad was really talking to me because he's like those are my shoes those are my boots so I don't know if I was thinking about boots last night or I was thinking of my dad or you know could have been the could have been the uh <laughs> it could have been the allergy medicine I took last night huh <laughs> who knows All right, guys, we're getting there. But these two colors together, you guys, they look so creamy and fluid and soft. And, uh, you know, if you're not into like primary colors and you'd like more soft neutrals and um, like that, this is right. This is exactly up your alley because these, these two colors together, they marry in so beautifully. They really do. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Hi, Jesse. Welcome. Thanks, Carmilla. Isn't it pretty? This celery color is pretty. I like the moss, too. But I thought for this project that the celery, celery would be really pretty. Yeah, I can feel like a pressure. A little bit of pressure in my sinuses but we're gonna just take that away right now <laughs> I think it's just because I have my head bent over a little bit okay
Hi Amanda, hi Laurie. Thank you guys for coming on. Hey, if you could do me a favor, sprinkle out um, the lemons, throw them out for me. Throwing out the lemons, guys, we, we say that when we're trying to, when we make lemonade, and throwing out the lemons helps to grow my page. If you know what I mean. Without saying that word. I don't even know if you're allowed to say that, that word. Because FB doesn't like it, I don't think. Or is it change now? Things change. Things change every second, every minute. Okay. We're working our way around. This is still a little bit dark here. Oh, I just boo-booed on that. Oh, well. I can touch that up. Alright guys, so I know we didn't get every little sing single spot, but we got most of it. So we're going to start drying this, and then we're just going to brush over it maybe with a second coat before we um, do our other stuff. So, but look how pretty. Both those look so pretty and creamy together. The colors. Almost looks ceramic. Almost looks like it's a ceramic. Denise, I'll thank you guys for the hearts. I'm glad you like the colors. Aren't, isn't it like so soft and just very creamy soft? Thanks, Gina. Hi, Sue. Yeah, is the frame pretty? It's it's a plastic one from Dollar Tree. Don't be afraid to get those Dollar Tree frames, you guys. They work out beautifully. This, I just happened when I saw those at um, Halloween time. I picked up a couple because I had a feeling I was going to use them. I have one, one of the crafts um, I'm going to have in the either mystery box or whatever. Um, and I believe it was from Christmas that I'm gonna I'm gonna have in one of my mystery boxes and it's exactly with this frame. Thanks Peggy. Thanks Mary Beth. Hi Suzanne. Okay. They didn't have this on um, during the, it was a Dollar Tree Plus. They never had this with the Halloween stuff. Like I said, this had a Halloween. It was a flower with like a serpent snake around it. And we got rid of him. They don't like him. Hi, Shay. Hi, Bonnie. No? Now, is yours a Dollar Tree Plus or is it just a regular, um, Dollar Tree. It might be different everywhere. Like I said, right now, like I went to Michael's last week for some Easter stuff, but I'm trying to use up things that I have in my craft room first because I don't feel like I don't want to be wasteful. So I'm just going to start, you know, using everything I have. Felt and glitter. If I have to. <laughs> Felt and blue and glitter, right? 
Oh, is it? It's just starting to put them out, Daria. No frames at all? Just no, really. Not in your Dollar Tree. Wow. Now, I know we've always had frames and some glassware and since, you know, since I've, I've had one, it, you know, since we've had one in our area, but. Hi, Reggie. Hi, Carlotta. All right. this plastic cool because sometimes it heats it up but I think it keeps it um keeps the wetness on it but yeah look how pretty look how pretty I really like this love 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 okay so we're gonna go ahead and put a little second coat on real quick like and then uh we'll get our distressing done and move on with the next part so this is going to be a few parts. So I'm hoping everybody can hang out with me the whole time. This is going to be really sharp. Give it a little bit of a second coat. the back side of this only one coat I'm just going on the top where you can see the um, the designs and I feel like it's really pulling them out even more so I'm just gonna roll with that I'm just gonna roll with that yeah I like this I'll show you what I mean when I'm done. I feel like it's helping these. They're popping out a little bit more. The, the, uh, the decoration on this, the way it's put into the, um, the frame. I'm kind of liking it, just pulling that through. Just on that part. I think I do. I'm leaving that back. Yeah, let me show you this. You know, sometimes you think one way, but then your your project evolves. Look how look how that looks like they pop more. Don't they look like I feel like they look like icing? It looks like icing. But see how they popped out the the areas in here, like all this, not the stuff in between. But look how they look popped out now. Okay. Thank you. Hello, daughter. Hello, daughter. Okay, y'all can see really good, can't ya? You can see what I'm doing here. Pretty, Wendy, it's beautiful. 
It does look like a frosty cake. It looks like a frosted wedding cake, doesn't it? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. I think it looks super sharp, guys. All right, we're drying. We're getting there. Second to set. Hi, Liz. Hi, Nita's Crafting Corner. Hi, Wynn. Thank you. Thank you very much, you guys. Okay, now what I need to find amongst the rubble. Everything's falling. I'm going crazy. Uh-oh. I might have to use my little scraper because, let's see here. around here somewhere but that's okay I have another sanding block I can use I just thought that my gator would be much easier but it is a wall at this point so we're just going to use our we just use our little sanding block okay and what I'm doing is I'm just going to go over the edges with that and we're going to bring some of that dark through you guys just a little bit this is still pretty warm we'll give it a second thank you Rebecca yeah we're going to use our sanding block in the meantime, I'll have to find that amongst the rubble. <laughs> but you can use, you can use a scraper, you can scrape it off, but let's just go ahead and use this. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and scrape some off, and we're gonna bring some of that dark back up through. Just to distress it a little tiny bit. And you could do it as much or as little as you want. I'm not gonna do it too heavy. And then I'll decide whether or not I want to put any um, Waverly wax on. I may not, because I'm liking how this is looking. And you can always use a scraper. If you have a scraper, look, you can use a scraper too. Just to show you, that you what you can use. dressing it's bringing out as you can see it's starting to bring out a little bit of that uh, gray in the black 
because even when it before we started guys it was black but it had some white on it it wasn't completely um black take my time and go where i want scrape the little edges again you can do it as heavy or as light as you want done it just want to get around each edge of where the detail is to help pull it out I'm gonna do because I like it so let me show you let me see if I can get you to see I don't know if you can see the probably hard to see guys huh can you see where I went in and um, here I'll hold it here I just did a little bit of uh, detail to make it look a little bit distressed not crazy see what I mean I think that's gonna be enough okay I don't want to do anything too over the top because I don't want it to look, I don't want to look too distressed for what I'm doing. So this will keep it soft and it's going to set down on your little thing like this. Okay, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to take our really pretty napkin. This is our napkin with our little flat. It's not the, um, it's not eucalyptus. It's just like a the flat. I have some over here somewhere. It's like the flat leaves. So we're going to use that. I'm going to cut out around here a little bit. And then we're going to take it apart and we're going to decoupage it onto the tray. This is a little more of a detailed um, craft we're doing tonight. So I'm hoping everybody can hang out as much as they can. Okay. And I believe this is either a two or a three ply, but I have to see when we're through. And I'll show you how I'm going to lay it in here. I think it's going to look really pretty. And like I said, I'm big on the colors. Everything, I, I call it color marrying. And they talk about that a lot in design with your house. If your rooms, you know, marry into each other, which means they, you can pull one color from one room to the next. And you can make it look totally different than the other. You know, you can make the rooms look totally different, but as long as you have something to marry the color in, you're in good shape. Okay. So here's our little piece that we're going to put in. Then we're going to lay it right in here, right across. I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to fit it right. round it out here 
So weigh it in again. Make sure that's on center. Round it out right here. And if there's excess, I will trim it off. Okay. All right, now let's make sure again. Okay, this is a two ply. Yes, it's definitely a two ply. So you see how I want to lay right down in the center we're going to lay it right down in the center of our platter. Look how pretty it's going to look. All right. So we'll go ahead and put our Mod Podge on. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Terry. Welcome on, everybody. Hey, welcome on all my silent watchers this too. I, I know y'all don't have to be screaming out, I'm here, I'm here. But I just want to let you know that I thank you and appreciate you for coming on and watching. Okay? All right. So, let's put our Mod Podge on here. I want to run it right over the center where we're going to be putting our little piece. Make sure you draw it out enough on the edges. And then we want to put a little tiny thin coat over the top. And I am using a matte Mod Podge for this. Okay. Now, we're going to hope that it looks blended in. It should. more podge on that end but all right let me show you what we got here look how pretty this looks isn't it so pretty 
looks very vintage, very soft. I'm going to go ahead and dry this up a little bit. Use our, um, I'm going to use our heat tool for a second, and I'm going to lay it to the side, and then we're going to do the little arrangement. So that's going to be our tray. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Risha. Thanks, Deborah. Thanks, guys. Well, that's okay, Vicki. Welcome on. All right, gang. So here we go. I'm going to dry the edges up, and we're going to let that set. And it should be nice and dry by the time we get ready to assemble. Um, yeah. So I like it so far. But again, see how all of these colors, how they all kind of marry into each other. So that's what keeps it nice and soft and pretty. All right, I'm going to set this little fella down. I'm going to let it continue to dry until we're done. Okay. All right. The next thing we're going to do is this was a, um, oh my goodness, guys, I'm having a brain fart. This was from a candle. They must have melted the candle completely out. And this was from a candle. It had a lid. I don't know where I put it, but it had a lid on it, but we're not going to use the lid. Um, we're going to do, look at this cute little um, transfer we're going to use. Look at this little bicycle transfer. It says, hello, sunshine. Okay. I did. I did peel the layers of the napkins. Yes, I did. Um, so we're going to paint this color also. We're going to paint it. Um, oh, I think we're going to go ahead and paint it plaster, the glass. And then we'll put our... Um, this little fellow on top. So here we go. Here we go. I was look look at look at these guys. I was gonna put these on my tray, but I realized that I needed my husband to drill holes. So I'm, I might make another tray and use these. Look how beautiful this is. I got these from the thrift store. Aren't they beautiful? Okay. All right, so we're gonna use the color plaster. And we're just going to paint our um, our little jar. Remember what I said, guys, how when you're painting, paint the first layer thin, dry completely. Then you want to um, fill it in with the second coat. Okay, I'm using the color plaster. Again, when I'm through with my uh, project, I will seal it with uh, the sealant. I don't do a uh, Mod Podge, although I could on this because it's a smaller project. I think I got everything. Okay, so we'll do the first coat. Um, Sharon, first I made a little, um, little riser, I guess you want to call it a little riser tray, and it looks very vintage, and now I'm going to make a small, tight floral, um, arrangement, I have a really cute, um, look how pretty it says, um, welcome sunshine on it, and it's going to be something you want to put on your dressing table, be real cute.
So we're on our first coat of plaster on the glass. Just want to make sure it's done thoroughly. Hi, Debbie. Welcome on, you guys. I appreciate everybody coming on. Hope you're not bored stiff with me yet. <laughs> and I'll show you. Here's what we've done so far. Here's our little riser that we just made. And we did it. We've got the little um, knobs on the bottom, so it will sit up a little bit, a little bit of a tray. So it's going to be like a little vanity tray. You can put your little baubles and doodads up here. So it's really cute. I like the way it's really turned out. So now we're drying our first coat. It should be about dry now. Get around this side and then we'll do a second coat. you those of you that have crafted hi Darlene uh, yes yes Sandra it is it is it's one of the Dollar Tree the frames from Halloween yes um, has anyone ever heard of before you paint glass to wipe it down with an acetone or a um, alcohol Let me know. I know I thought I heard them someone say that they use alcohol and it just removes all the excess oils and dirt off of the um, project. Yes? Okay. Okay, I wonder. I didn't do it, but I wanted to see if that was true. So the next time, I will do that because I have alcohol upstairs. I have cotton balls the whole nine yards. So. That's good to know. That's good to know. And I always like to throw questions out because you know what? Nobody knows everything, right? Okay. All right, well here's second coat, and then after it dries, I'll see if I missed anything. I'll do a little spot. Yes, yes, this is, yeah, look. This was the, doll, the little um, tray. It was actually the frame, but I made a tray. Because <laughs> I thought it looked so cute and vintage looking. Good, Sandra. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm saving that felt for last. <laughs> Crafting with me and I were talking earlier today, and we just got the, we had the giggle fits earlier. Because uh, I was going to come on here. I might as well just tell them stuff. I was going to come on here with, um, macaroni and Cheerios and I was just gonna string Cheerios and paint them and macaroni and <laughs> but I think you guys will have thought something was wrong <laughs> we were just cracking up never mind oh she said mom wouldn't that be hilarious if you got on there and you started crafting with Cheerios and noodles and <laughs> And just started painting things randomly. And she also wanted me to do this with my hair and make it stand straight up on the ends like that. And you guys would have thought that something was totally wrong with me. <laughs> oh gosh. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Terry. Right? I know. And we're like, put me in, coach. You're ready to play. Today we're going to do macaroni crafts. 
bring your kids, bring your grandkids. Come on in. I know. I know. I lost it. We were, we were just, I was laughing so hard. I'm like, stop, stop. And then I said, I'm going to get on here and say, get your felt, get your glue, get your grandkids. We're going to have a nice craft day today. <laughs> bring on the glue. Bring on the glitter. Get your Elmer's out. We'll and then I follow up with, let's do something fun today, kids. Let's paint our hand with Elmer's glue. We'll wait till it dries and peel it off. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. So that was our afternoon. How about you guys? All right, let me do this one little side because I feel like I didn't get this one as, as well. Right here. Boys. Boys, how they stop? They know. They're so bad. All right, so this is actually code number three, but like I said, I'm seeing stuff underneath there, and I need it to look nice and solid. Okay, that's our plaster. That's plaster there. But I like the shape of this little um, candle thing. I like how the edges, they're not really kind of rounded not super duper square and um, all right. okay we're gonna dry this and then we're going to put on our little um, bicycle or rub on and then maybe I will rub it with some Mod Podge I know Doria we are laugh them yeah Nini's here Nini <laughs> no, I'm Boo Boo's here, Mimi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mimi no no <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Annette. Welcome on, everybody. I'm gonna, you guys are going to unfollow me after this one. Please don't unfollow me. <laughs> but you guys, you got to laugh, right? You have to laugh. You have to. Welcome on, Annette. Stephanie's urinating her drawers. She's going in her, her little pantaloons. She's wetting her pantaloons, everybody. Pray for me. <laughs> All right, and this you gotta make sure it's thoroughly dry because um, if you hit these, they'll chip. So. <laughs> Good. I'm glad, Risha. Risha, I'm glad you laughed. Other the people going, oh, she's just stupid. I'm scrolling on. All right, gang. I feel that my hand underneath here is completely caught on fire, so I believe that's dry. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're going to let this cool down a second. Okay. Here, I'll be like the old old ladies. There we go. Now I'm a real senior, right? When you start stuffing your tissues up your shirt sleeve, you know. You know. 
<laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our, um, our little bicycle on here. And I want it up so far because I'm going to put a little edge on the bottom of this. At least I think I am. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, I hope it's straight enough. It's not. Let's see. Okay. And this also, I believe, this was a Dollar Tree um, rub on. Again, um, I've not had any trouble with the Dollar Tree ones. I don't know if you all have, but so far, thank the Lord, I've not had any trouble. So we're just going to go ahead and rub these on. See, they're supposed to be rub on, meaning like do this, I would think. But it's nice to have a little tool. This was gifted to me by uh, my daughter, Nee, and Create Timeless Designs. And it's plastic, has the round edges, but I feel it, it uh, really helps. And sometimes you can see underneath your transfer, if you're using your transfer, sometimes you can see, okay, uh, where it's already starting to transfer onto your um, project because it gets a little bit lighter. <laughs> yeah, bras. Although, you know what I won't do? I won't ever put my cell phone down in there. That's the only thing I won't do. Oh, I'm at, wait, my mother. Mom, I hope you're not on here, but my mom would clean the house. And she would throw things in her bra. Like, she'd find quarters, change, little, like, they might be a little bit of a little screw or push something. She'd shove it in her bra. She'd take that bra off, all this stuff, and fall off. She probably had... Five dollars in change fall out. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you, thank you, Angie. My my daughter um, Alyssa made this for me on her Cricut, and it says I wear my heart on my sleeve, and then on here is all my grandchildren's names. I don't know if you can see this, and my girls. You know. Stephanie, Haley, Logan, Luke, Alyssa, Eleni, and Apostolus. And then up here, I think it's on this side, it says Mom and Amma. So my Greg gets call me U M M A, Amma. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. All right, let's see if this is going to come off or if it's going to give me an issue. One can only hope. Let me get around these edges. Again, sometimes I feel like it's a little overkill, but especially with the fine print over here, like these guys here, I feel like they like to lift. Like they don't want to lay down quite the way they're supposed to. All right. Okay. Well, I lost the last part of the, the little bit of thing here, but that still looks cute. So here's our little um, bicycle. Look how sweet that looks. Look how cute. It says, welcome. Welcome. I lost the C. Did I lose the C? I did. But you guys get the drift. Yeah, I lost the C. I wonder if I can put it back on here. Let's see here. W E L C. Let's let's see if we get the C back on here. 
Why not? Okay. There it is. And let's see if I can get the other part of the bicycle thing on here. I got it all on there all right guys um yeah you know what i'm thinking i might as well put a coat of mod podge on here or yeah i'm gonna i'm just gonna do it <clears throat> only because i don't want chipping off i don't want the chip off on me That's a rough edge when I need a really soft bristle. Okay. All right, guys. Well, so far, so good. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to put a light coat of the Mod Podge on here just to seal it, okay? But I'm loving the way this looks. Look how pretty. It doesn't look so super pretty. I love this. Um, I love the transfer. I really do. All right, so we're just going to do a light coat of Mod Podge just to seal the transfer. We're going to go around with the light coat all the way around here. It'll, it, that way it will seal the paint as well. This is a matte. This is a matte Mod Podge. This is not a high gloss. But if that's what you like, get the high gloss and use it. Okay, but I, I don't want a really high gloss for this. Okay. All right, so that's all I want to do. Put some on the bottom a little bit, and then we'll dry it up. Just a thin little, thin little sealant, which will seal it all off, and it'll protect the paint a little more. Because like I said, sometimes when you do your, um, your chalk paint on uh, glass, it uh, it tends to chip so okay <clears throat> and it looks extra super finished it just makes it look more professional you guys if any of you are out there and you're crafting and you're you're going to craft fairs and you're going you want it the transfer Vicky I got at the Dollar Tree as well this was a, a year ago over a year but um, like I said you guys if you're going to sell something you want to make it look like it's really stepped off the showroom floor you know Especially you girls that do uh, your craft fairs or your um, shows and things like that. So, I really like this. Though. This is super cute. Okay, what we're doing, we're just drying the Mod Podge. You don't want to over dry it because then it will melt it back down again and we don't want that to happen. We just want to put a nice coat over there. This really worked well. Okay, that feels pretty good. But see what I mean? See how it just gives it a nice finished look. Very nice and finished. Low gloss. Okay. All right. So that's the part that's done. Thank you guys again for coming on Cut Up Crafts by Shelly. If you're new to my page, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we make lemonade here. If you love crafting, you love hanging out, chit chat, we get silly, funny. We're every day, you know, if you watch Crafting with Me, we are real life. We don't mince words. We just have fun. So. Everyone's welcome, and we're going to have fun. All right, so here's what's happening now. We're going to start to assemble 
and we're not far off. Um, I was actually, we're just going to put some of these adorable flowers. I looked inside the little basket of our, um, our bicycle. And you know how I am about, you know, things looking in. Welcome, Gail. Welcome to the party. Jacqueline, hi, welcome. Um, I was looking at the basket of the flowers in here. So I wanted to try to get the flowers that kind of matched in the basket. What do you think? So we're going to go ahead and I could just flop them right in here, which I might do. Now, I didn't put any, um, any of the gardening, you know, the, the floral foam in there yet. Because I might decide I want it a different way. But this is what we're going to get here. And I know this took a minute, but it, it was it's really worth the minute because I really think it's going to be adorable the way it turns out. Now these little guys, notice how these guys turn. And I really love these when I when I pulled them off of another um, kind of a bouquet situation that I wanted to make sure I placed them in so they would look like they're kind of hanging off the bottom or off to the side. And then I'm, I like a, a kind of an asymmetrical look all the time with my arrangements. So it might appear heavy on one side, but that's on purpose because that's how I roll. Okay, let me turn this around. All I did was uh, put the little arrangement in. Let me make sure I got it the way I want it here. Look how cute, guys. So here's our little floral arrangement inside. If you could look real close in here, you could see the different colors, like your pinks and white and inside of there. Okay. And so that's our little, that's our little doodad. Let me get this. I don't want it to look like it's got too much green coming. I really wanted to try to get it as balanced as much as I could. Yeah, that's better. And I want you to be able to see the little, uh, I don't want to take away from the um, the bike. There, that looks better. See what I mean? How you can see the bicycle. But I'll I'll rearrange all these and. But I always like a little little floofy thing out the top. I'm always like very asymmetrical. So, all right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna assemble our little fun little craft here. So we have our beautiful little tray that we put together. Okay. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make like look like a little vanity tray. And we're just going to say like, let's see here. I have a little, um, here it is. I made a little shoestring, little shoestring lace bow that I want to put on here too. And it's going to sit right up here. So let me fix it. I already, I already whipped it up. I, all I did was make a shoestring bow out of the lace. This is from the Dollar Tree. Okay. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I already know where I want it. So it's not gonna matter where the flowers are because I know where I want that little bow. So even if I switch the uh, flowers around, it's not gonna matter. So now it's just pretty much assembly. No big deal. Okay. Let's keep this on here for just a second. Okay. And what I did is I found some beads here. And I just wanted it to feel like you're you're just going to your dressing table. You're just going to the dressing table, and you're taking off your jewelry for the evening. Okay. And. And your little lipsticks lay in there too. So let me see here. It's a little lipstick tube. Sorry, but it's got stuff on it. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So 
So I'm going to turn it around and show you how sweet this turned out. So this is our little vanity ensemble that's put I put together. So here's our little vanity ensemble. We've got just a little simple shoestring bow with the little ribbons hanging down. Let me, let me see if you can hear you so you can see it. And on there I put some beads. Look how cute this looks, you guys. Some beads, a little lipstick, just like you're taking things off your on your little dressing table. Okay. And that's, that's going to be about it. Let me turn this around just a little bit more so you can see a little more of the... Like I said, I didn't want to take away from the bicycle. I want you to be able to see the bicycle in there, too. But I thought this was so sweet, you guys. Um, I found these beads in with a bunch of old jewelry that was gifted to me. So I thought, well, that'll look all cute. And I like how you can you can just make a little, a little thing on your... Right? So what do you think? This is it. <laughs> Here's our little friend here. It's crazy what you could do. I love this. I love this little, I love the little riser. I think it turned out really cute. So thank you guys. All right, I want to thank you guys for coming on Cut Up Crafts by Shelly. I hope you enjoyed tonight. I had fun. Um, yeah. So thanks again for all your love and support. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the hearts. All of the above. And um, I'm going to get off now and um, keep my laundry done. So have a wonderful, great evening tonight, and I'm sure Crafting With Me will be on soon. And um, well, let's see, what is today, Sunday? Uh, you may see me again tomorrow night. So have a great evening, everybody. I love you all. You take care. Be amazing. Show kindness. Show love. Throw it out there. Laugh. Laugh, laugh, laugh. And, and dance. Dance around the house. Do whatever. So, all right, guys. Love you all. Take care, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.